In the past, New Orleans had a long tradition of beer brewing, Dixie, Falstaff, Jack's, just to name a few. But there's a new brewery in the Crescent City, and as this week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine shows us, the NOLA Brewing Company is cooking up fistfuls of flavor in a city known for its great tastes. In a humble warehouse along the mighty Mississippi, Peter Cadu works his brewing voodoo. This clutch of stainless steel tanks is the kitchen of a New Orleans brewmaster. Peter, who's been brewing for nearly 30 years, says coming up with a great recipe was key. The blind ale's close to, um, if you would just use a different yeast, use a lager yeast, it would be close to a Munich Hells, like a Munich white lager that we drink in Germany. It's just, you know, it's got a nice golden color to it. It's got real multi flavor and it's not very hoppy at all. For the past two months, the NOLA Brewing Company has been making small batch, handcrafted blonde and brown ales. Company founder and New Orleans native Kirk Coco says his beer is rooted in the Crescent City's brewing tradition. We're a small brewery. We're, we're making beer for the city of New Orleans. Uh, we just got in our first two or three bars outside of the city of New Orleans this past week. But we're concentrating on bars in the city and uh, our production levels are equally small. For Nola's brown ale, Peter and Kirk have selected several different malts to achieve their trademark craft beer flavor. Well, we got here, this is the, we got Brees uh, Special Roast, and it's from the United States. We got uh, chocolate malt and black malt from uh, England, and we got this stuff called Kiln Coffee Malt, and that's from France. It gives it like this light coffee flavor. And that all goes into the brown ale? Brown ale, yeah, and then we also have Right here, it's called Caramel Munich. It's a German malt. It's like a caramel malt. It's special, gives it that nice caramely, sweet flavor. Now, I couldn't very well do a beer story and not give you a taste test. So let me give you an, kind of an idea of what this tastes like. This is the brown ale. Mmm. It's got hints of coffee and it's really rich but it's not as heavy as you might think for a dark ale. Now this is the blonde, and let me give you a taste of what my impression is of the blonde. Well, you know the old saying, blondes have more fun? Well, this is a really fun beer. It's got a lot of different flavor, lots, lots of different flavor. Very, very good on the palate. But you may be curious to know that the spent grain used to make this beer goes right back to the farm. And that spent grain is then taken, removed, and uh, sent to a farmer, a local farmer, who feeds his cattle with it. So we're able to keep our area very clean all of the time. And then he obtains this free grain, which is still good for his cattle. Every glass of Nola ale is like a child of two loving parents. That first pour at a bar is a night Kirk says he'll never forget. I'm going into the bar, just wearing regular clothes, nobody knowing who I was and ordering a pint of beer from that tap handle and seeing it up at the bar. It was an amazing feeling. And uh, each time we send out, Peter and I send beer out the door, uh, we take a lot of love and care making that beer. So it's almost like sending your son off to school and you, you go, you look at those kegs go out and go, I hope they take care of you and I hope it gets served in the right temperature glass. And you know, it's a lot of love and care for it. So try a pint of NOLA. You know, in a city known for its food, it's an ale that will leave you hungry for more. In New Orleans, I'm A.J. Sabine for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. You can find NOLA Blonde or Brown Ale in more than 95 bars here in southeast Louisiana, including New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Right now, Kurt Coco says he's developing a new recipe for a third craft beer as well as a bottling line. If you'd like more information about the tastings going on at NOLA Brewery, you can log on to our website, twilatv.org.